Welcome to my YouTube channel which is titled Research Methods Class with Dr. Lydia Wabugo. In Research Methods, we have a book titled Research Methods, Theory and Practice. This book is accessible through the website where you can access the hard copy of the book or a downloadable PDF format of the book. In the same website, you are able to access all the courses, which includes the free research methods course, IBM SPSS statistics course, M&E consultancy course, which are available at a fee. Please find the links in the description. Welcome. Welcome to our lesson today. This is our 75th lesson and we are continuing with referencing in social science research and we have said in our just concluded lesson that in social science uh, research we use APA style of referencing. We have discussed the notable differences between the sixth edition and the seventh edition. So in this lesson we are going to discuss how we cite journals, how we cite uh, books with single and multiple others and how we cite online books. So that is the main outcome of this lesson that we should identify the appropriate referencing method for books and journals. We have just explained what is APA. It is American Psychological Association which is a referencing style that is commonly used in social science researches and it is unique because it uses other data and it dictates how we reference or we cite in text and how we write our reference uh, list. So, so since most researchers will use books and journals when writing their academic work, so this lesson will look at how we reference the two. So we, we start with how to cite a book with a single author. So when you are citing a book with a single author, we include the author's name, the year of publication, the book title which should be italicized and the publisher. Remember, when we were looking at the differences in our previous lesson, we have said in the seventh edition, we do not need the place of publication. So for instance, in our reference entry, we will show the book or we will cite the, uh, the, the book by Amane 1967 as shown. So we have the title of the book is Statistics and Introductory Analysis, second edition, and then the publisher. In the in-text, if we are showing the page number, then Yamane, comma, the year of publication, and then the page, and the page is normally indicated as 1P, and then a full stop and you show the page. If there are two, then it will be, if you are quoting from two pages, 17 and 18, then it will be PP 17, and then you put a hyphen 18. If an author has published at different times, so the same person has published in 1967, in the year 2000, in the year 2020, or if they have undated uh, uh, works or if they have work in press, then order the reference list based on the publication date, listing the oldest source first. In the sixth edition, we were listing the newest first, but now we uh, list the oldest first. But if the work has no date, then it comes before the work with a date. And if works are in press, they come last. For instance, you have this material by Warren. The first one is not dated, so it comes before the one with a date, and the one in press comes last. That is, if the author has published at different times. If two different authors have the same last name, order their uh, works based on their initials. For instance, if you read a book by an author called Wabogo LN, and you also read another book or a journal article by another Wabogo called Wabogo AS, then 
Wabugu LN should come after Wabugu L. A S because A comes before L. So you order their work based on their initials and you start with the lower alphabet. When you have the same author, same year of publication, same author, same year of publication, distinguish with lowercase letter after the publication year. And you make sure that the identifying letters are included in both the reference entries and in the in-text citations. So our ordering of a, a, a book or work that has been done by the same author, same year, is the lowercase letters. For instance, Clark R.E. has written uh, two books or has two works in 1994. So we'll have Cl uh, Clark RE 1994A and then we have Clark RE 1994B. And when it comes to the list of references, the A work should precede the B work. So you should start with the 1994A and the 19, then followed by 1994B. So the first one should be the one with an A and the second one should be the one with a B. And even in our in-text, the A and B should be shown. When you are referring to an in-text citation from the A, there should be the Clark 1994A. When there is a reference from 1994B, then it should be Clark into brackets 1994B, both in-text and in the reference list. Citing a book with multiple authors. In the in-text citation, shorten the authors list by using et al right from the first citation this we have mentioned under the differences so you only include the first author's name followed by et al and then in the reference list you include up to 20 others now let's look at a book that is written by wabogo charlo b and yodje in 19 in 2015. so if we were working uh we using this book in the sixth edition we would be required to write all the four others in the first instance so now it is not necessary so the first citation should just have wabogo et al full stop followed by a comma 2015 and the same would happen in the uh, parenthetical and even in the narrative now we have said in the last in the reference list you use 20 others and if there are more than 20, then after the 19th order, you use ellipses, the three full stops in a row, then list the last order to make 20. Ebooks and online books. Include the last name, initials, and then the year of publication into bracket, the book title, the publisher, and then the URL or the, uh, the DOI. Now, sometimes the ebooks and online books do not have page numbers. The seventh edition allows us to use the chapter or the section or the paragraph number. For instance, if you have a book by Fox, which is an ebook, then we have Fox, J, full stop, 1998, that is the year of publication. Then the book title, you can see it is italicized. The publisher is the university concourse, full stop, followed by the URL. In the in-text, then we would write Fox 1998 and then comma paragraph 17. So this is if the book does not have the page number, but if it had the page number and we were referring from that particular text, then we would show the text. So we look at how to uh, uh, cite a chapter from an edited book. In the first uh, point, an edited book should be shown by using ED or EDS. And then the person whom you are quoting their chapter is the first one to be indicated. And then you will write in the, 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 the authors of the main book and the title of their book. So let's look at this example. So we have an author called Kenya Jui who has a chapter in the book by Murphy and Ziri. 
The book by Murphy and Ziri is called Distance Education in Agrophone Africa Experience with Secondary Education and Teacher Training. That is the cover title of the book. But in that book, Kenya Jui has a chapter called The Organization of Teacher Training at a Distance with particular reference to Kenya. And his chapter is from page 17 to 32. And this whole book is published by World Bank. So how do we cite, how do we now reference a, a, a chapter from an edited book? So you start with the author, of the chapter who is Kenya Jui. Of course, you put a, a comma with their initials, then the year of publication, and that is what we have dedicated there. The last name, which is Kenya Jui, their initials, year of publication, then the title of the chapter they have written. This is not italicized, the title of the chapter. So Kenya Jui wrote the organization of teacher training at a distance with particular reference to Kenya. Once we finish with the, uh, the title of the chapter that Kenya Jui has written, put a full stop. Then you write in, now you show the editor's initials. In Mafe P and Ziri A, and then into brackets EDS, because it means it is a chapter in an edited book. Then the title of now book is italicized, as it is shown. Then Kenya Jewish chapter is page 17 to 32, and then it is published by World Bank. If we had their URL or the DOI, it would be followed after the publisher. In the in-text, you don't need to have all that uh, information. We will only state or pick the order of the chapter you have quoted, which is Kenya Jui, 1977. If you have a specific, a specific page, you can indicate. Citing a book that has two others with the same uh, surname. So use the, the two surnames in the text, in the in-text, but in the reference list, use their initials starting with the one with the lower alphabet. For instance, a book by Nakmayas and Nakmayas. In the in-text, you will write the two, Nakmayas and Nakmayas 1996. But in the reference entry, we will start with the lower uh, alphabet. So C comes before D. So the first Nakmaya has a C initial and the second Nakmaya has a D. General articles. Include the other or others followed by initials. Then year of publication in round brackets, the article title, the journal title in italics. It is now the journal that you put in italics, the volume of the journal in italics, the issue number of the journal in round uh, brackets and no italics, and then the page range of the article with DOL or URL if available. For instance, you have this journal article by Utenberg. So the, it was written in 2003, so we have shown the author, comma, the initial, then the year of publication, full stop. The title of the article is Do Learning Style and Learning Environment Affect the Learning Outcome? Now we italicized the journal title, the Journal of Physical Therapy Education. In the seventh edition, we need, we do, we need not to write VOL, volume three, uh, issue number eight. We only show three, which is italicized. The volume is italicized, but the issue number is not italicized, but it is put in round brackets. And then now this paper is uh, from page 67 to 75 and you do not need to write pp 67 to 75 in the in-text again just like the book you pick the name of the author and the year of publication so this brings us to the end of our lesson where we have looked at how to cite books and journal articles in our next lesson we are going to discuss how we format our academic papers projects theses and dissertations thank you for being part of our class do not forget to subscribe to the research methods youtube channel where we discuss everything research we have now uh, uh, discussed 75 lessons feel free to like and share this lesson with your colleagues and ask any question that you have on the comment section